Okay, yeah, I've uh, seen my share of uh, naked men in houses. <laughs> Wait, can all right? Can we explain? Don't what edit it. Is? All right, let's get into it. We're J and K. This is our podcast. Today, we're talking about bathing in Korea. Chris is still here as our resident Korean. Justin is still here as our resident white guy. And our first question, Chris. Have you seen someone naked? Wait, did you say we're talking about bathhouses? Yeah, I did. I didn't say bathhouses. I said we're talking about bathing in Korea. Wait, wait, wait. Should we start over? Why? Let's start. Cause it's because Justin wasn't paying attention. <laughs> Chris doesn't seem like he's ready. Are you ready, Chris? I am ready. I was about to answer the question, Justin. You, you rudely <laughs> interrupted me. <laughs> okay, let's, let's start yeah. again. Yeah, no. So the first, my, I think my first experience going to a bathhouse was probably with my dad. Um... It was a really strange experience, I guess, because um, when you brought the topic up, I was kind of like going through my memory bank of the first time I went to a bathhouse and trying to, <laughs> uh, to like you know, revisualize all the naked. Men. Yeah, revisualize all the <laughs> naked parts I saw <laughs> and how that made me feel as a young boy. <laughs> Do you remember how old you were when you first went? I think I was like in elementary school because that's okay. like, I mean, obviously I never went to a bathhouse in America. Yeah. Um, it was only during my like summer vacations in Korea that my dad brought me there. You know how they have like the ice baths and like the hot baths like in different like areas. He told me not to like go immediately into the ice bath after you, you've been in like one of the hot baths, essentially. Oh, really? I uh, didn't know that was a thing. Why? Yeah. yeah. I think parents tell their kids that because like they used to say like your heart would stop. Oh my yeah. gosh, that sounds like a yeah. superstition. <laughs> it sounds like fan yeah. death. <laughs> yeah, so it's like, exactly, it's like fan death. But Actually, yeah. I remember when I used to go to bathhouses with my sisters, like our favorite thing was being able to swim. Because I feel like there's not mm. that many places oh, you can yeah. go swimming yeah. in Korea. So as like kids, yeah. I feel like you're just like swimming from one end of like one yeah. of the tubs yeah. to the other. When you uh, were in that bathhouse with all these naked men or women mm -hmm. what's the protocol there are you allowed mm -hmm. to look at people freely or can you compare yeah you just stare or? at them until they <laughs> until they walk away <laughs> and then you move on to the next person <laughs> they just basically up just uh, <laughs> yeah it's just a staring contest inside it's, uh, can you like look intense. down are you allowed to look below the nipples <laughs> it's like a game of chicken it's like whoever looks down first loses <laughs> but um <laughs> yeah I mean, can you like, compliment know, each like, other? Like, whoa. Yeah. Yeah, you just give them a, a, a gentle nod to <laughs> acknowledge that their well healthy. endowment. <laughs> it's like, and then just like, oh, I think you should get that check checked out later. But, um, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I think they follow the basic human etiquettes inside of Bathhouse, Justin. I don't think it just turns into like some jungle or some zoo <laughs> where like people just lose all sense of like their humanity. I yeah, just imagine they, they're like really uh, comfortable and they're like sitting next yeah. to each other. They don't just like... turn into animals <laughs> the moment <laughs> like, we take our clothes off. I should probably um, not go to a mogyoktang. Yeah, I don't think Justin should go to a bathhouse. <laughs> like, have you been to one, a bathhouse here? Yeah, I have. Yeah, I was hoping you would oh. ask. I was waiting for this. Finally, someone asked me. <laughs> <laughs> yep, it was weird. When was it? When did you go to mogyoktang? In 2017 in North Korea. Were you naked? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I was naked. Oh, that's so funny. Were there other people there, or was it just you and your tour yeah, group? Yeah, it was North Koreans. Oh, that's so <laughs> weird. There. What happened there? Did they also make eye contact? <laughs> or look? I remember seeing one of the guys that was with me because his ding dong was a ginormous. <laughs> this is the biggest one I've ever seen in my life. I was like, holy cow. It was classified as a, a legal weapon. <laughs> oh, yes, it was. <laughs> Wait, so you went to a bathhouse? Your first bathhouse experience was in North Korea. First and only, I'm pretty sure. Well, actually, only. I went to one when I was also 14 because my dad came to Korea for meetings and I was mm. drug along because my sister was in boarding school at the time. But you went with your dad to Mogokan oh. here? Yeah, and some whoever Korean guy was with my dad at the time took us, obviously. Yeah. We, it wasn't like we decided to go on purpose. I wasn't wanting to The go. funny thing is I feel like your dad <laughs> like talks about going to Mogokan every single time he comes to Korea. He's like, we should uh, go to Bata. He's, he's been here a few times, but yeah. at that time I didn't know. I mean, it was. I just thought we were like. I didn't know it was a Korean thing at the time. 
But it's, I mean, I feel like other cultures it. also have bathhouses. Yeah, it's I've been like naked in weird, other right? countries all, way more. Probably, yeah. So it just was like, right. oh, another country likes being naked together. It was great. <laughs> I find it so interesting that your first bath bathhouse, exp- well, not first, but like, I guess. I mean, that was time I was an adult. One of, his, one of his formative yeah. bathhouse experiences was in North Korea, of all places. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I never went again. Yeah, it's like, you probably picked up some really weird, like, customs and traditions <laughs> that they don't do here in the South. <laughs> They gave me a gun. They called each other comrades. Oh my god! <laughs> yeah, everyone's. It's like you call each other comrades in the in the bathhouse. Everybody's house. got a comrade junior too. <laughs> uh, Your comrade oh is looking okay. really good today. <laughs> <laughs> so, like, there's gym bugs in Korea that I feel like people go and hang out with their friends a little bit more. But do you ever go to Mugukdong with mm-hmm. your friends, or is that kind of like a you don't really do that? Um, what's kind of I feel like you need to explain for me too. What's Jim Jobang and Mogi Explain Kong. it. Explain it for Justin. Explain it like I'm Justin. <laughs> <laughs> What's a Jim Jobang? How is it different from a Mogi Jim Jobang is like, um, I guess it's it encompasses a lot more than just like baths. So, Jim is like steamed, right? Like, you know, it's mm. like kind of like sounds like this guy doesn't know what he's talking so, about. <laughs> yeah, it's like sweating. You know, it's like so there's saunas essentially um and you like go into like these rooms to literally just sweat for like yeah. 30 minutes and then you come out and then you would maybe grab some beverages or kind of lay around and then they also the have end, that like common the house. Yeah. they have that like common area yeah. where like you can be with like men and yeah yeah yeah, and yeah. naked yeah it's like a no, chill no, 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 zone clothes. yeah uh, yeah mm. but yeah and you get to eat yeah, is there so... beer and stuff like that or I don't know, because I feel like alcohol and bathhouses isn't very good for you health-wise. Mm. Hmm? Who like, told you that? The people that told you your heart would stop? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> My dad. The people who said, like, fans are dangerous. <laughs> <laughs> and that the earth is flat, but, um, no, uh, I think I've seen canned beer there. I'm not sure. Um, What's the classic Jim Bang food? Egg. Just one egg. Eggs. Eggs. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, that's right. We uh, saw it. Oh. Yeah. Are they yeah, boiled you, or baked? You hit baked? each other in the head with it. Both. Really? Yeah. Well, you like yeah, pack you, it on you like. Yeah. yeah. So, like, I feel like people do go to Jim Jilbang and hang out with their friends a lot. But Mogoktang, I feel like, is so much more mm. of a... You go with your grandma or your mom and you, like, go take a bath kind of thing. But is that true? I feel like that's what it was in my experience. Um, When I was in middle school, uh, I used to play basketball with my friends a lot. And every time we would, like you know, go out and play a game, we would end the day with, like, going to the Mokhtang and just, you know, relax. And I think a lot of athletes go. Oh, I guess that kind of Oh, were you an athlete? Yeah. Yeah. He's still an athlete. Don't you still play basketball a lot? Yeah, but not to the point where I need to go to a bathhouse (laughs) and do, like, gym gym. I was actually doing a bit of research on the topic of uh, Korean bathhouse. Oh, nice. Educate us. About... The history of our culture. Did you Wait, come um, across a video on YouTube yeah. that was like, "What's happening in Korea's bathhouses?" <laughs> oh, I know. I don't think I've seen that one yet. <laughs> <laughs> you know what's crazy? After we made that bathhouse video, I actually asked my parents what it was like when they were growing up. So I guess it's even beyond mm-hmm. when they were growing up. Even when like they got married my dad's house didn't have like a shower or like bathing facilities and so my mom was like right. yeah we used to go to the bathtub like and my dad was like we went like once a <laughs> week or once yeah. a month or so and was your like, mom what? laughed so <laughs> yeah, hard my mom was like what that like not often but dad that was, was a dirty guy <laughs> yeah but that was still the 80s it was like yeah. not that long ago so i feel like it's kind of crazy to think that I and mean, people just have like hot water at home now do you have a bathtub at your house no, no. Yeah. Most one room apartments in Korea, even two room apartments, they don't have a bathtub. So. Yeah. Yeah. We have a three room yeah. apartment. We don't have a bathtub. <laughs> yeah. In Japan, almost every house has a bathtub, like a mini, like a one person bathtub. Dude, they're so tiny. I feel like you like yeah, sit in yeah. it and it's like really small, but it comes up really high, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, like the act, this bathing is so, is so important to them that like some people take a bath every day. Yeah, so. I mean, I Wait, feel like in Japan also they, they don't they like their bathrooms and or the toilet and the shower and everything is like in separate yeah. spaces. Like Korea is just yeah, like one yeah, wet yeah. bathroom. Yeah, you're well, not uncomfortable being naked in front of other people. Yeah, I'm not uncomfortable because like I mean, no. For for instance, I was any male who goes to the army in Korea, you have to 
take a bath with other men every day. Like so, shower or bath? Like you're in yeah, in the shower, in the shower room. Yeah, oh, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. in the shower room. Yeah, There's yeah, one yeah. bathtub, and they all have to take a <laughs> yeah, bath together. Yeah, I mean, I feel like I that mean, part's kind of normal, right, around yeah. the world. People. If you're lucky, you get to have the bath by yourself. Most <laughs> of the times, it's like two, three guys huddled together. Yeah. Um, <laughs> yeah, no, just because I've been exposed to bathing with other guys at a very young age, like so. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I feel like it is pretty normal, yeah. even if I guess even in cultures where people like bathhouses aren't a thing i feel like when we went to like, iceland yeah you, like end up taking showers with people after you like visit hot springs or like in other like anywhere i feel like that have like yeah. big showers you just end up showering with other people naked there's like that unwritten rule well, i mean it is a written don't rule pee now, in the water you have don't to take a go. shower yeah that oh, before you get it don't, don't go drink with the water the yeah. don't pee in the water yeah uh take uh-huh. a shower before you enter the water right basically yeah so well, what's the point of this I remember I think I, I got <laughs> Yeah, I think I got scolded once by an older man when I was like in middle school cuz like me and my friends we kind of like went into the the tubs right away. So After basketball, yeah, was... you were like all sweaty and you just like yeah. got into a yeah, tub. It's like, yeah. It's like Yeah, that's gross. Yeah. But, uh, it makes sense. You that. should clean yourself before you go to a bathhouse. As parents, would you, would you be comfortable with taking your kids like, let's say Justin would take Lee or Cohen would take Will with Does her that have, Do bath. guys like, also take girls to the guy section? I don't know. I, I, don't, I, I haven't seen that before. I don't think that's... I think that's... Yeah. I don't, yeah. It's... <laughs> yeah. But it's I like, feel like if we were, like, oh, ever in a situation okay. where we had to go to a bathhouse, you would probably take Will. Like, if we ever had to go. Yeah, yeah. I don't think yeah. we would switch kids mm. <laughs> yeah, <so she> gets, <laughs> or if there was like some emergency where i was like cl- had to get clean yeah. immediately and i had lee with me i'm on the street i'm like ah gotta take lee <laughs> yeah. i feel like if i did have to take well i don't think people like other people would find it weird per se because i feel like, like oh yeah. you know it's just like a little kid he's like five or yeah. like i mean i guess he's actually three so it's like he's only three like who cares kind of thing yeah. but i feel like it might be weird i mean maybe not i guess it's only weird if you sexualize it I mean, I think it's would be fine for you to take Will until he doesn't want to go. <laughs> to be honest, and then maybe <laughs> there's a point where he's like, "All right, I want to go." Yeah. He's like, <laughs> like "When I are want, we going back to Mogi Park?" So, mom, you can stay outside. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> or yeah, maybe he wants yeah. to go to the guy section. Yeah. yeah. But I, because yeah. I do feel like it's, and yeah, maybe I'm sexist. Yeah. But I feel like it's different <laughs> having a taking a young boy into a girl section than taking a young girl into an all man section wow i'm so curious to hear what other oh, people yeah, think sure. about this like if yeah. this is the social yeah. if this is like a weird gender norm kind of thing or if it actually just yeah. is like morally weird well definitely i mean there's some like where joel's like finland or brother-in-law yeah. he he went to, yeah. he still goes to a bath like not they, a sauna co co-ed saunas. yeah they go to co-ed yeah. saunas and they do it until forever mm-hmm. yeah yeah maybe it's not that weird i don't know maybe it's just like i f- i feel People like it's based it. on like my own culture <laughs> yeah yeah i mean do you think i would go h- how do you think yeah. that would affect will like if you took him to like a opposite gender bath you know like yeah fine. yeah maybe it wouldn't be that weird yeah. actually actually i guess I, f- I feel like it's only weird if you tell them it's weird like if you grow up thinking it's normal yeah. and like everyone else around you does yeah. it it's probably normal i was in a culture <laughs> like if we were in finland and it was an all like a co-ed bathhouse and everybody's doing it yeah i would be like all right let's all go like i don't feel embarrassed to be naked in front of my kids wait what what do you mean by saying doing it like you have to be more specific like <laughs> doing it Doing like playing chess outside naked <laughs> oh, okay. and eating donuts yeah. at the same time. Juggling. <laughs> You're not on the same page as me? <laughs> yeah, I'll Wait, sorry, sorry. but okay, yeah. so we're in Finland. We're, we go to a sauna and we take our kids with us. Cool. Would you ever go to a sauna with your mom in Finland naked? Yeah, with my mom, probably not. What about my dad? <laughs> your dad, actually, I'd probably be more willing to go with your dad to a sauna naked than with my mom to a sauna naked. Yeah. <laughs> but, uh,. Neither of them is, do I really options? want to. Like this is <laughs> like, again <laughs> life and death. I'm having to go to. <laughs> but I imagine. Yeah. But yeah. I like if yeah. free will is involved, no. <laughs> <laughs> we have a list of questions that we asked mm. our community if they had any questions about this topic, and so we can go through those and then call it a day. Yeah. First question. Sounds good. What do you use? to wash yourself at home do you use a tesukon every day 
Or do you use a I washcloth? <laughs> or a loofah or your hands. What's it called? Those, uh, oh, yeah, loofah. Uh, no, I used How to I? use one, but um, I think I just use my hands now. Really? You just put like soap or yeah. body wash on your hands and just like rub it everywhere? Yeah. Oh, yeah. interesting. Use a lot That's... of friction. Create yeah. a lot of bubbles. <laughs> La- lather it up. <laughs> lather it everywhere. And then what do, do you use, Colin? Like, I use a loofah. I feel like so in... <clears throat> Like, I feel like I haven't taken a shower if I have to use my hands to rub soap all over my body for some reason. I've, like, never felt that I've taken a shower if I do that. I feel cleaner using oh, my yeah. hands than not. <laughs> like, How would you shower? <laughs> and then what? Just, like, pour yeah. body wash on yeah. yourself? And, well, I don't know. Yeah. You gotta, you, if you don't have a loofah or something. That's Wait, true. But you like, wash I feel your like, hair every oh. time? Every, I haven't been washing my hair every day. Um, mm. Maybe like every other day. Can you explain why it's pretty common in Korea to only wash up like your face, arms, and legs, usually up to the knees, rather than taking a complete shower? First of all, is that true? Do people do this? Well, I don't know. I don't know if this part is true, like if people go into the shower and only wash like to your knee and above. But I feel like people do on days that maybe you don't take a full body shower, only wash your hair or your face i don't know mm. is this true <laughs> i think i start with my face first or no i start with my hair yeah and then i work my way down have you ever washed your hair without taking a shower like is that a common thing yeah yeah i do that like in the mornings when i need to go out really quickly and i uh. don't have time for a shower yeah. yeah you just like stick your head under um. the water <laughs> yeah 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 <laughs> And there are times where I don't wash my hair, but I take a shower. Yeah. So, yeah, you have to like coordinate really carefully to make sure Every your hair is not wet. Yeah, yeah, it's true. Where yeah. like a shower, ca- yeah. I guess that's what shower caps yeah. are for. Okay. They also said maybe you can also talk about body odor. How most Koreans don't have bo like uh, people from other parts of the world. That must be nice. Like Justin. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like bo in Korea just smells different from like other i mean yeah, i feel like yeah, people's yeah, yeah. bo depend or like your b the smell of bo depends on what you eat right no it's really interesting because like things. i always hear how like foreigners talk about how like korean people smell like kimchi like yeah or overseas. like garlic i feel like yeah because i think i mean it makes sense because people do eat a lot of garlic and i guess like my dad so hates it I, my mom garlic. hates it when my yeah when my dad eats a lot of garlic out and like he he like exhumes like all this like (laughs) garlicky smell i mean i feel like now they have more deal but like i feel like a lot of places Mm -hmm. also don't have like is it the antiperspirant kind or like the either that or like the smell kind yeah yeah Yeah, because the glands are different i guess between like white people and asian people so um, is that what you i don't know it's interesting Yeah. yeah, it's what my uh, flat earth doctor told me. <laughs> Dude, that's literally what my doctor told me about childbirth. She was like, Asian bodies are different from Western yeah. bodies. And I was like, I don't know if that's yeah. true, but... That's why you can't shower after giving birth. Yeah, that's why you can't wash your hair for three months after giving birth. <laughs> Another question we got was, I love that you covered washcloths. I was wondering if you use it every time, I guess like every time you take a shower, would it over exfoliate the skin? The answer is probably yes. I don't think you're meant to use them daily. Or every time you shower. Yeah. I think you should ask a beauty influencer for that. Oh, maybe we should call someone. <laughs> we're not we're not we're not qualified to <laughs> get, This is above let my me ask grade. My <laughs> flat earth doctor and get his opinion. Uh, <laughs> He's like you should use you're not using enough. <laughs> yeah. You need to use it more. You need to use three of those. Layer them up. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's so funny. Layer up three blue. Yeah, but uh, oh yeah, it's definitely it's definitely like even like the 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 ones they use in bathhouses like, yeah they're, they're not it's not really that good for you like, yeah like some you see like a lot of old men like scrubbing so hard that like their whole body becomes red yeah but, uh, yeah i mean i feel yeah. like you just i mean wh- i don't think you need to exfoliate your skin that often actually it's not like i guess you yeah. have dead skin cells all the time but i don't think you're yeah. like, meant yeah, to be like yeah, baby yeah. soft all the time a couple people ask questions <laughs> about brands of soap or body wash in korea they're like are there brands of soap different compared to the u.s like dove suave or dial what's the most popular soap to use what soap do you use chris <laughs> do you use like soap or do you soap? use body wash no. yeah what do I you use, use body wash yeah mm-hmm. 
What I brand is it? Why are you so offended by a bar of soap? <laughs> a bar of soap? <laughs> <laughs> uh. <laughs> uh, you know what um, is weird in Korea? Before you like tell us what body wash you use, like when you go to Chiacha or subway bathrooms and they have oh, that bar those, of soap those. that's like stuck on the yeah. like metal prong uh, thing yeah yeah the blue sphere yeah whenever yeah. i use those like i tr- i like I, I try to be like so like careful with like how i touch it <laughs> <laughs> it's so, ir- it's so it. ironic how like yeah it's, just, it's like, soap i feel like <laughs> yeah. i should use it it's soap yeah. but at the same well, time i feel disgusted using it it's so, it's so it feels like it's so ironic how like a bar of soap can make you feel so like icky inside i'm well, so I feel curious like it's because they have it on a pipe and when you grab it you have to like <laughs> yeah. rub back and forth like that <laughs> but also, I'm so i like cu- i like dab my fingertips i just go like Doop, and then i just like use whatever's there. that's so funny <laughs> i feel like, like splash water onto uh, the soap to yeah kind of, like, rinse it <laughs> just to get the drip oh and then you use yeah. it yeah that's so funny yeah, i feel like I when i use it, it i like use yeah. more of it to like get the first layer off and to get like a fresh layer of soap <laughs> yeah 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 well, sometimes it's not like squeeze it and then like just use whatever's there <laughs> yeah I, I just try to like go as much as possible and then get all the soap suds <laughs> off of it okay all right just all try to right. take it home okay. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Uh, free soap uh, (laughs) actually our body wash is dove but it's not i guess there are other kinds i don't know i feel like we just keep ordering the same thing every time because we also order 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 ours on coupon um yeah dove body wash the big the big like bottles are great to use they last like a year Wow, does it last you a year? We have like three bodies in our family that we have to wash. They last like oh, a few yeah. months. I guess ginger bong is a pretty fun activity to do. Yeah, I feel like when we were younger and like, well, since a lot of Koreans like still live with their parents or like when we visit in the summer, we always like stayed with my grandma. If yeah. we wanted to do like sleepovers with our friends, we would go to ginger bong because it's like you can hang out. Yeah, and yeah, 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 yeah. Kind of thing. Even for me, when I was in college, every time we like go out drinking and like the trains would all stop we yeah. would just go to ginger bong and just kind of sleep for a few hours and then take the first train in the morning yeah any last words cool. about bathhouses or mogyoktang no that's it 